I remember reading, when I was a kid, a children's story about a bunch of sailors, or pirates or whatever, centuries ago, and for a reason that I can't remember at the moment, the ship on which they are sailing gets a leak and sinks, and one of the guys finds himself washed up on a mysterious island. On the island, our man encounters an old guy sitting there, wearing what looks like a giant diaper. The old guy says, if you can lift me up onto your shoulders, I can reach that fruit for both of us. That seems reasonable enough, so the pensioner is thus lifted into position. Suddenly, wham! The old guy's legs tighten into a strong grip around his neck, and the trap is complete. For many weeks, the poor bastard is forced to carry this geriatric parasite to everywhere he wants or needs to go, without any thought to the person doing all the work. When the young man complains, the crusty fella says, you should be doing this for me. You're a young man. The thing is, I can't actually remember how this story ended. Perhaps I didn't finish reading it. I was probably distracted by my Commodore 64. But by now you will know where this video is going. A situation a great deal of guys will be familiar with. On the street where I live, there used to be a guy living there called Bob. And every time I would see him and his basketball shaped wife, he would always be weighed down with bags from women's clothes shops, and I would joke to myself that Bob was short for Beast of Burden. He was also responsible for getting her home. Quite impressive considering that he himself was only one Mars bar away from a heart attack. Any guy of any age, anywhere, can find himself, sometimes voluntarily, in a scenario where he makes a complete fool of himself, or is injured, or both, trying to gain some female approval. You've probably had it in your own relationship playing the role of pack animal from one clothes shop to another, without even so much as a thank you at the end of it all, never mind a massage for your bad back. The house that you share with your wife or girlfriend will most likely fall under total control by her, one room at a time. Until you find a bit of space for yourself in the shed in the garden. Well, you say to yourself, this isn't too bad, I have my own man cave. But you see, you are wrong. That's not your man cave, that's your stable. Away from the house, in a place where she doesn't have to look at you. And from your stable you can see the parties that she holds for her friends, paid for from the back of your drudgery. She can keep the occasional eye on you till your muscle power is needed again. Why is it that even going on holiday with your wife often feels like an expedition? God forbid that she should be seen on Facebook wearing the same outfit twice. I once carried two heavy suitcases for my then wife to a remote Greek island only for her to complain for a week that she didn't like the taste of the tap water. But there is also an unexpected burden that she might want you to bear. Her emotional baggage. That unwritten history of regrets and embarrassments that you will feel the weight of. So the choice is up to you. Will you be the nodding donkey, tamed as I was for so many years, or will you see the alternative track that allows you to be a stallion, wild, free, and unlimited? <laughs>